Well, welcome back, Air Gunners. This is Zach from the Shooter Zone, where we are always staying on target. Well, a while back, I brought you from Bintac the M50. And today, we have another product from Bintac. It's the M457, so 457 caliber. That's what the uh, numbers stand for. I'm sure you've already figured that out. All right, so this is very similar to the last one um, in that it has a 22-inch barrel. Comes with two mags, though today I'm using a single shot tray, which uh, a friend of mine is working on from Tradinsky. Uh, if you use some of his products before, we're still working out some of the fine tuning of it, but uh, I like it a lot. I like shooting single shot rather than magazine. I think uh, to me it's just, it's always been something I like to do. Uh, it does come with, obviously, folding stock, which extends. Today I have a 3x9 scope on there, just a basic scope. We have the hush can down the end, which is going to quiet it down just a little bit. We have a 4-inch gong set up out there at 40 yards. 4 inches is really nice because that's about the size of a, of a deer heart, so to speak. Um, also, up here in uh, the mountains up in southwest Virginia, you know, typically shooting 30 to 60 yards is pretty common up here because it's so dense. Um, so 40 yards is usually where I like to sight him in at, and then from there I can, you know, I can make adjustments if I'm shooting at something a little bit farther, a little bit closer. So today, I think we're just going to put five rounds through it. This is a 500cc tank. It will start to deplete after, well, I would probably say five or six shots. It's always depleting. Uh, the maximum FPS that I got out of this. Uh, was about 800 and that's using 242 grain pellets from extreme air gun slugs uh, these slugs are very well made and they love this aea so i'm going to be shooting a lot of these through there i'll put links below so you guys can go check out his page on ebay where he sells all different calibers and styles of slugs so again, this is in some ways a recap of the M50, so you're welcome to go back and look at that a little bit and kind of get some more info if I missed anything here. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. You know, got a fill probe down the bottom, which I have in there right now. While I'm shooting, I just leave it in there because I have to fill it up a few times, and it's just, I know it's right there. Gauge at the bottom, of course. And I think that's it. It takes a 11 millimeter rail for your scope mounts, so keep that in mind. And that's about it. Again, we're gonna put some shots through this and see how it does. Uh, I'll put up a target I just shot at just before setting this up. I wanted to make sure that uh, I had it sighted in well for 40 yards. The other day I was shooting at 30 yards. It's been raining here so much I haven't really had a, a lot of time to put in to this, so today it's, it's fairly nice. So I figured, okay, let's extend it out to 40 yards and put a few rounds through there. But the first two shots were literally almost hole in hole, and the third shot was just slightly below that. Uh, and that gives you an idea of the accuracy that these slugs uh, will do. So with that, let's load a few in here. Again, I'll probably shoot five. Hopefully we don't drop too much. As we start getting near that end of the five shot group, Sometimes the first shot will come out a little bit hot too. So you know you gotta you gotta know how these things shoot. You gotta put a little bit of time into them to know what they're gonna do on the first shot versus the following shots after that.
Starting to drop just a little bit. All right. So there we go. Five shots. I would say that's a dead deer every uh, every shot for sure. You know, again, this is a hunting rifle. Can you use it for other things? Of course, it's always fun just to shoot, whether you're shooting gongs or whether you're shooting um, bottles, you know, uh, filled up, plastic bottles filled up with water, things like that to watch them blow up. I mean, it's just fun to shoot no matter what. But this is primarily uh, a hunting rifle for sure. And then whatever you want to do with it after that. So I was mentioning about 800 feet per second is what the peak was of the five shots when I shot earlier. And again, 242 grain bullets, um, or slugs rather, excuse me. But that's what you have with this. Again, I, you know, you, you can't go wrong with these AEAs, especially, I mean, to me, the bolt actions. I love bolt action stuff. It's always what I shot, high power rifle. I've always shot bolt action. So I just love bolt action. I'm not necessarily a semi-automatic guy. Um, you know, I mean, they're fun too. I won't say they're not, but I like bolt action rifles. So that's typically what I've stuck with over the, over the decades. And there you go. Um, make sure you use good mounts. I, I tried a couple other mounts that didn't quite hold tight enough. So use some decent mounts on this. Uh, also high mounts because I think, uh, your eye position when you put, when you put it up to your cheek, and you're looking through, I think the high mounts probably work the best. And that's what we have for today. Uh, again, I'll be shooting this more because this is really just the first video I've done on this. And typically I'll do a couple more. And again, the uh, extreme air gun slugs, I'll put a link down below to these. Uh, they shoot very, very well. And um, I find that they're fairly reasonably priced in comparison. So that's always a plus too. So, until next time, please uh, like this page if you haven't. Go to Facebook and like the Shooter Zone Facebook page. Those help a lot, both of them, both YouTube and Facebook. And until next time, be safe, shoot lots, and we'll see you again soon. Take care now.